Chris says, should I buy a $9,300 Tempur-Pedic mattress with interest-free financing? I have to think you're being sarcastic. Otherwise, I think you're stupid beyond words. And so I have to go with sarcastic. Tongue-in-cheek question, right? Just This is the stir-up Dave Ramsey question, right? See if we can get Dave ranting. So, um... <laughs> I mean, what else is Facebook for? I mean, really, seriously. <laughs> so, um, we'll answer it as if it were a serious question by a stupid person. So, um, oh, God, really, seriously. Um, if you want to pay $10,000 for your bed, you should first have a lot of money which would thereby mean that you were not even asking this question. So I'll just go ahead and start with, you can't afford this mattress. And otherwise, if you could afford this mattress, you would have never asked this question. But no, we don't buy anything on that ever in any circumstance, interest-free or otherwise. If you cannot pay cash for it, don't buy it. Well, Dave, that's a little extreme. I mean, can't you take that ten thousand dollars invested and in, and in, listen? If you need to worry about investing ten thousand dollars, you don't need to be buying a ten thousand dollar mattress. If investing a ten ten thousand dollars is going to change your life, then you don't need to be buying a ten thousand dollar mattress. Meaning, if you got a million dollars invested, ten thousand dollars doesn't change your life much, and you could probably afford to write a check and buy a ten thousand dollar mattress, right? And not think anything about it if you want to do that. But if $10,000 is such a big freaking deal that you have to do an analysis on it mathematically, then that by definition means you don't need to be spending it on a mattress under any circumstances, financed or otherwise. If you have to have this discussion, it's kind of like if you have to ask the price you can't afford it. You ever heard that? That's kind of where this falls into that category. This is like an uber luxury item. $10,000 for a mattress is an uber luxury item. This is the freaking Bentley of mattresses. And you don't need to drive a Bentley when you're broke, even if it's interest-free. And so here's the thing. As we've studied millionaires, people who actually have money, not who people who have a theory about money, but people who actually have money, we have found that there are two primary things that they do. They invest consistently because, number two, they don't borrow money. They don't have any payments. They do not borrow money. And therefore, they have money to invest consistently, and therefore, they became wealthy. It really is a fairly simple formula. But we complicate it because we have this little child down inside of us, the one that throws a temper tantrum on the cereal aisle. You ever seen that kid? He lives inside of every one of us. His name is immaturity. His name is I want it and I can't afford it. Big hat, no cattle. B N B B H N C. Big hat, no cattle. B H N C. Hashtag. B H N C. Right. Big hat, no cattle. These are a bunch of immature children walking around inside of every one of us. One definition of maturity is learning to delay pleasure. Adults devise a plan and follow it. Children do what feels good. So, no, Chris, you should not buy a $9,300 tempur bed with interest-free financing. You can't afford it. By virtue of this fact, simple fact you ask this question tells us you actually cannot afford it.